Okay, so in this video I'm going to have a look at question 8 from the Applied Math Sample Paper 2022-2023. A group of scientists are investigating the population P of rabbits on a certain island. They estimate that there are 8,000 rabbits on the island and that the population is growing at a constant rate of 3% per year. The scientists plan to remove a number of rabbits from the island every year to help populate another habitat. They develop mathematical models to predict how P will change if B rabbits are removed from the island every year. The first model which the scientists develop uses a difference equation to express the population of rabbits in year n plus 1 in terms of the population in year n. The difference equation is Pn plus 1 is equal to 1.03 times Pn minus B. n is positive, an integer, and P0 is 8000. So solve this difference equation to find an expression for Pn in terms of n and b. Okay, so let's start this. So we have our difference equation. So we've got, let's see, we've got Pn plus 1 is equal to 1.03 Pn minus b. So let's start with n is equal to 0. So if n is equal to 0, we'll be looking at P of 0 plus 1, which is just 1. So that's going to be 1.03 times P0 minus B. Okay, let's move on to n is equal to 1. So if we do that, we end up with P1 plus 1, which is P2, which is equal to 1.03 times the previous term, which is P1. So we've got a multiply it by this here. So it's 1.03 times P0 minus B and then minus B. This is this minus B here. Okay, so if we multiply this out, we just get 1.03 squared times P0 minus 1.03 times B minus B. Let's do one more. We've got N is equal to 2. So if N is equal to 2, that means we're looking at 2 plus 1, which is 3, so we're looking at P3. So that's going to be 1.03 times the previous term, which is this term here. So that's 1.03 squared, P0 minus 1.03B minus B minus B. And if we multiply that out, We multiply that out, we get 1.03 cubed times P0 minus 1.03 squared times B minus 1.03B minus B. Okay, so at this stage we can see the pattern. So what I'm just going to do is write out Pn at this stage. So we can see we've got Pn is going to be equal to We've got, remember this is P3 here, and we've got 1.03 to the power of 3 here, so we've got 1.03 to the power of n here times P0. Now, the remaining terms, these ones here, I'm just going to have a look at those. What I'm going to do is factorize out the B. So I'm going to take out minus B, in fact. Now I'm going to start at this end here, so that will just give me 1 at this side. I take b out of here, I'll just end up with plus 1.03. I take out b here, I'll end up with plus 1.03 uh, squared. And remember, we're looking at pn now, so this really goes on to um, n minus 1, because remember, we're looking, at, we're looking at this part here. So this part here, the highest power here is 2. We're looking at p cubed here, so this power here is one less than the n that we have here. So really what we're going to do here is go on out to 1.03 to the power of n minus 1. Okay, so let's have a look at this then. We have 1.03 to the power of n times p0 minus b times. So in here we've got a geometric series. Uh, so we're going to use Sn is equal to A times, now I can see the R here is bigger than 1, so I'm going to put the R first, R to the power of N minus 1 over R minus 1, where A, our first term is 1, or the common ratio here is 1.03, and the number of terms is just N. We have N terms because you can see here we've got N minus 1 terms up to there, and we've got an extra term here, so that'll bring us up to n. So let's just work this out. Now we've got 1.03n to the power of n, p0 minus b times. 
So we've got a which is 1 times r which is 1.03 to the power of n minus 1 all over 1.03 minus 1. So this is our solution here. This is our pn. So let's just mess around with this a little bit. So pn is equal to 1.03 to the power of n times p0 minus b times 1.03 to the power of n minus 1 over 0 0.03. Now remember we were told in the question that p0 is 8000, so I can just put that in here. So my pn is going to be 1.03 to the power of n times 8000 minus b times 1.03 to the power of n minus 1 over 0 0.03. And that's really it. That's our, that's our solution to our difference equation. I could probably just mess around with this a little bit more, but I don't think it's going to look any better. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it, leave it at that. Okay, so let's have a look at the second part of this question. Uh, the second model which the scientists developed uses a different equation to express the rate of change of p with respect to n, time measured in years. The differential equation is dpdn is equal to 0 0.03 p minus b where n is positive real and p0 is equal to 8000. Solve this differential equation to find an expression for p in terms of n and b. Okay, so first thing I'd do is just write down the equation that we're given. So it's dp dn is equal to 0 0.03 p minus b. Okay, so what we're going to do here first is just separate out the n's and p's. So I'm going to multiply across by d n, so that's 0 0.03 p minus b times dn, and then divide across by 0 0.03 p minus b. So on the left hand side I get 1 over 0 0.03 p minus b dp is equal to dn. Okay, so let's just integrate both sides at this stage. So let's integrate the left hand side, integrate the right hand side. Now remember that the limits on the left hand side for the population are 8000, that's the starting population, and we're going out to some population p. The years start at zero and go out to some year n. So let's integrate both of these. Now on the left hand side we have one over something, so it's going to be log of the something, which is 0 0.03 p minus b, but we've got to account for this here, the 0 0.03. If we were to differentiate, for example, we would end up with an extra 0 0.03. So we've got to account for that, divide by 0 0.03 to get rid of it. So that's our left-hand side done. We've got 8,000 here, we've got P here. On the right-hand side, we're integrating 1 with respect to N, so that'll just give me N and we're into, we're, our limits are 0 to N. Okay, so let's put in these limits then. So we have on the left hand side 1 over 0 0.03 log 0 0.03 p minus b when we substitute in the p and then we've got to substitute in the 8000 so it's 1 over 0 0.03 log 0 0.03 times 8000 minus b and then on the right hand side we've got just n minus 0 which is n. Okay, so let's deal with all of this. Now the first thing I'm going to do here is I might just factorize out that 0 0.03 and inside the bracket then I should be left with log 0 0.03 p minus b minus log uh, 0 0.03 times 8000 is just 240 and that's minus b. Okay, on the right hand side I've just got n. So on the left hand side, 0 0.1 over 0 0.03 log. Now what I'm going to do here is just use the laws of logs here. When we subtract, we can divide these two. So it's 0 0.03 p minus b over 240 minus b. And on the right hand side, we've got n. Okay, so let's just multiply across by 0.03. So we have log 0 0.03 p minus b over 240 minus b is equal to 0 0.03 times n. Okay, next thing I'm going to do then is just convert this into index form. So it's going to be e to the power of 0 0.03 n 
is equal to 0 0.03 p minus b all over 240 minus b. Now what I want to end up with here is p on its own. I've got to isolate this. So what I'm going to do is multiply across by the denominator on the right hand side. So it's e 0 0.03 n times 240 minus b. So that'll get rid of this for me. And then I'm going to take this b and bring it over. So that'll give me a plus b. Then I'm going to divide by this 0 0.03. So 0 0.03 here, and that should leave me with P on the right-hand side. And this is our solution to our differential equation. The population after n years is this expression here on the left-hand side. And that's it for this part of the question. Okay, so let's have a look at the next part of the question. Uh, part 3 here, the scientists want to know what each model predicts the rabbit population on the island will be after 50 years. That's if 200 rabbits are removed each year. Calculate P of 50 using the first model and P of 50 using the second model when B is equal to 200. Okay, so I've actually done these ones out. This is the first model here. I put in 200 for B and 50 for N, and I got a value of 12,512 to the nearest whole number. I've also done the same with the second one. So I put in 200 for B and N is 50, and I got 12,642 to the nearest whole number. So there is a slight difference, but um, I suppose not much in the grand scheme of things. Uh, the next question then is, each of these models makes a different assumption about the removal of the rabbits from the island. What are the two assumptions? Again, I've done this one out, so just read down through my answer. Uh, the differential equation indicates that the rabbits are removed on a continuous basis, whereas with difference equations, the rabbits are removed at discrete intervals. So, in other words, difference equations are used when the change is discrete and differential equations are used when the change is continuous. So that's that question. Now, the next one then, we have the scientists want to know what value of B should be chosen so as to keep the rabbit population on the island constant. Calculate the value of B using either model. So I have both equations, um, or both solutions here. Uh, looking at my first solution that I worked out down here, there's nothing really that I can see in that version of the uh, solution that would indicate what value of B I should use. However, looking at the second solution here, I can see here that the maximum B could be here is 240 because 240 minus 240 will give me zero. So that will just become zero. And then B being B being 240, I would just end up with 240 divided by 0 0.03. So let's just work with that one. Uh, so I'm going to assume that B is 240, so all of this will just give me 0, so I'll end up with 240 over 0 0.03, and that will give me 8,000. So if we started with 8,000, we're going to end up with 8,000, so this will be constant. Now, in terms of the first, in terms of the first uh, solution that I got here, if B was 240 here, what would happen? Let's see, we would end up with 1.03 to the power of n times 8,000 minus 240 times 1.03 to the power of n minus 1 over 0 0.03. Now, what I can do there is just simplify it a little bit, times 8,000 here. Minus, I can divide this into this here, and that'll give me 8,000. I have 1.03 to the power of n minus 1 here. Now, if I factorize out the 8,000s here, I'll get 8,000 times 1.03 to the power of n minus 1.03 to the power of n, and these two here, minus minus, will give me plus uh, 1. So you can see here I'll still end up with 8,000. That will give me zero and I'll end up with one here. So I still end up with a population of 8,000. So again, that's, that means that I will end up with a constant population if we take out 240 rabbits. And that's really it for this question.